here back with another video today we're going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iphone on a chromebook so i hope you enjoy if you haven't already smash the subscribe button turn on those post notifications to never miss one of my uploads if you're wondering why should i subscribe to one tech well i upload daily tech videos including chromebook content unboxing and just overall tech news and all that cool stuff so yeah guys for this video you will need developer mode enabled so this is a disclaimer before you start this video you need developer mode enabled um i do not have a tutorial on my channel yet but i will have one soon on how to do that and after you have developer mode enabled for this process, you will need a Chromebook and a USB stick. All those are all you need for this process. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so we're on my laptop right now. So what we're going to be doing is first, you want to go ahead and go to this website, is download Ubuntu Desktop. It is in, links in the description below, first link. Then you want to scroll over to download. We're gonna go ahead and click that. And at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, I have a download right there. It says starting Ubuntu download right there. And then, yeah guys, we'll be back when it's fully done downloading. All right guys, so once it's done downloading, you will see it in your downloads. For me, it's right there. So what you want to do is, is you want to tap it with two fingers or right click, and then you want to click rename. And you want to rename this to a .bin file. After you've done that, you click enter, and then you will see that the file name will be a bin file right there. And that is what you will need for this process. After that, you can just close your files right there. Then you want to go to this website, second link in the description below, and you want to download this app called Chromebook Recovery Utility. Once it's done, just click launch app. Then it says you will need a USB stick four gigabytes or larger. Then you want to go ahead and click the little settings icon right there and click use local image. And then you want to find, see my folder right here, Ubuntu desktop AMD, you want to click, click that. And then you want to click open. And then you see, since I don't have a USB stick plugged in right now, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Grab your USB stick you have. For me, mine is right here. Or for example, mine is plugged into my computer. But I can go ahead and grab this. See, this is what mine is look, looking like right now. I name labeled it bootable USB right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my adapter because I have a newer computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in just like that. We're all good to go. Then I'm gonna plug it into the side of my laptop. And then, see, now it says select. And we're gonna select my Kingston or whatever USB stick you have, click continue. And then you want to click create. This will go ahead and create the recovery media on your USB stick, which you will need, because basically what we're doing is downloading Ubuntu on your Chromebook, and then from that we're installing CheckRain, and then we're going to be going and jailbreaking your device. So guys, I'll be back. This will take around three minutes. So yeah, guys, I'll be back when it's fully done downloading. All right, guys, so once it's done, it'll say success, your recovery media is ready. You want to go ahead and click done, which there'll be a button down there, just click done. Then you want to go to mrchromebox.tech's website, third link in the description below, and then you'll be put up here. You want to go ahead and scroll down to here, and it'll say to download the script under Linux from terminal shell type, you want this. Then you want to go ahead and click control alt T, then it will bring you to a shell terminal. Then you want to go ahead and type. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. You want to go ahead and type shell. Click enter. Go back to his website. And then you want to copy and paste this code right here to run this script under Linux. Go ahead and copy and paste this. Click control C. Then you want to do control shift V. Then you want to have to click enter to so go ahead and do this. I'll be downloading all the supported files and checking your device in info. So this won't take like under a minute. So yeah, guys, let's see and when it's done. It's going to barely, barely take any time. So it's just gathering everything. So once it's done, 
you will see this. So what you want to do, you might see like all your options or something, and then they might say WP, which means the first one, like most people, it will have, it will say this, install and update RUW legacy firmware. Firmware for most people will be one, so just click one and then click enter. And then you want default booting from USB, click Y and click enter. And now we'll be downloading the RW Legacy firmware update. And then this is, which is basically seal BIOS, which we're basically going to be booting from. So yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and see. There we go, it's installing it. And then once it's done, it will say, RW Legacy firmware installed, click enter or yeah, whatever, enter. And then you want to go ahead and hit on your Chromebook, escape. You want to hit the escape key. I'm gonna remove camera angles. Escape, refresh, and power button, but mine's over on this side. So you want to go ahead and do that. Escape, refresh, power button, which you want to hold them together. Then it's gonna give you this screen, control D. But if that doesn't do anything, power off your Chromebook and power it back on. And then you'll be greeted with the screen. And then you want to click control L, L. And then you want to, and then you want to hit, go ahead and hit escape right here. And then you'll want to click one and then, and then it'll boot from your device and it will say this. And then you want to go ahead and type help, click enter. And then you want to click enter again to boot. Now you guys will be booting into Ubuntu, like it says right there. This is the software we'll need to jailbreak our device. So yeah, this is basically, it's just gonna check your USB device to make sure that it has all of the supported files and everything that it needs so you don't run into issues and it doesn't crash. So yeah guys, I'll be back when it's done checking our disks. All right guys, so once you're booted into Ubuntu, your screen will start rotating like crazy. I normally just turn my screen upside down like that and then I go ahead and see like how my screen is flipping like crazy once it's here I want to go ahead and lock screen rotation and I'm going to show you how you do that once it's in the correct position you want to go ahead and go up here to this little taskbar or and then you want to go ahead and click that and click lock screen rotation and then after that you're good to go after that you don't want to install Ubuntu because this will mess up your system. You want to go ahead and basically connect to Wi-Fi. Go up there to the taskbar and then there we go, Wi-Fi. And then you want to click select network. And then we're going to head and connect to my network we have right here. And then I'm just gonna type in my password and it's gonna go ahead and start connecting. There we go, we have a little connection up there. Right there, you can see that. After that, you want to go ahead and open Firefox. There we go. Then you want to go to search up Check Rain with a one. Then you want to go to their website. Then you want to get click Get the Beta Now. Click Linux right there. Then you want to add, you don't want to add the repo, you just want to scroll down Keep scrolling right here. Then you want to click download, just download. You might see it right here, click that. And then you'll greet you for this. The one you want to click is the top one right there. Download for Linux, CLA times 86 under 64. Just right there, that first one I'm pointing at. Click that and it's going to head and start. Click it, there we go. And then you want to click save file and then it's going to download. Then after that, you want to go open your terminal by clicking the little taskbar down there. Then you want to go ahead and type terminal, click on that. All right guys, so after you're in the terminal, you want to type in CD, then capital D down, go to downloads and slash. And then it will greet you with this. Then you want to go ahead and click clear, type clear, click enter. Then you want to do 
C-H-M-O-D, then a plus, then an X, and then check rain. So commands are in the description or on the screen. I'll click enter. Then you want to go ahead and type in uh, sudo dot slash check rain. There we go. And now what you want to do is see, it's making you plug in your device. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, well, I can't plug in my device, but I will while I'm filming. But this is basically how you do it. You want to go ahead and take your charger or whatever, and then plug it into your um, pixel book or whatever Chromebook you have like this. There you go, plug it in to your device. And then it should say something that comes up on the screen. There you go. And then you want to click cancel. And then you want to go ahead and it'll say you're connected in normal mode. Then you want to go ahead and click the start button right there. And then you want to follow all of the instructions on screen. Now guys, I know that I'm filming with my phone, so I'll be back after all of the instructions are done. All right guys, so I decided that I'm going to show you guys with the screen record what I'm going to do. So basically what you're going to do, you have your tab open and basically what we're gonna do is navigate with the arrow keys and then we're going to navigate over to start, you're gonna click the enter button, then you're going to enter and it's gonna put your device in DFU mode up to 30 seconds max is not going to take too long but it's just knowing this is a manual process that you will need for the jailbreak so yeah guys it's not going to take too long and we're going to see there device is now in recovery mode then you can go ahead and click next and follow in the instructions on screen you click start and you press and hold this hide and home buttons together and then you release the side button but keep holding the home button this is different for all devices but this is just the instructions for my device so once it's done it'll say device enter dfu mode successfully and they'll say installing jailbreak this will take a moment if the device asks for a passcode please enter it do not disconnect the device until finished so basically what this is right now is installing the jailbreak on your Chromebook or whatever, yeah, you know, installing the jailbreak on your iPhone that you have plugged into your computer. Make sure to not unplug it or you will like probably brick or mess, mess up your phone. So make sure to not do that. Keep it plugged in at all times. So this takes up to one minute max, but yep, see it says all done. And then your phone will still be in like this booting, but then it'll boot up. And then you'll notice that you have this app called Cydia on your phone. That's the, or, or you won't have Cydia, you have check rain once it pops up on your phone click on it and then click install and then you want to click install Cydia and then Cydia will install now you guys can ins install all the tweaks on your Chromebook so yeah guys let's go ahead and cut to the end screen all right guys so now you're done thank you all for watching make sure to like subscribe turn on post notifications to never miss an upload also subscribe for a shout out comment down below subscribed and you'll get a shout out in my next video hear the shouts for this video on the screen right now go subscribe to them you subscribe to me one of these shouts could be you guys so i'll see you on the next video enjoy your jailbreak and i'll see you on the next video goodbye